All right, guys, we're going in to eat. We're in El Paso. Look at this, how cute. So cute. I'm in the road. I'm in the road. I still look cute, though. That's all I gotta say. All right, let's go see what we order, girl. <laughs> so we are in a restaurant slash bar slash watering hole. Um, what is the name of this place? Tap, T-A-P. You know, like those things I don't have at the bottom of my heels because I weigh so much and they'll be scrubbing the ground when I walk. Uh, tap, you know what I'm talking about. So um, we heard this place was so good that we had to decide to come over here to eat. And plus, cause there's not really shit else around here to go eat. Um, but um, it's our kind of vibe. You know, it's very country. There's people riding horses and shit in here. Look, I hope that my uh, sound doesn't get blocked and demonetized. This is Flitter, if you don't know her. She's famous in the gaming world. So please make sure you go and follow her, subscribe, send me subs. You can uh, send me subs to her channel so that I can watch. Um, I'm not mad at it at all uh, because that means I don't have to pay for it. And then I send her all the wine glasses. She's taught me how to do a lot of stuff. Her and Chris um, have, have taught me how to be tech savvy, meaning like they show me the five steps and then like call again when I forget. And then <laughs> you have all the cute emotes. Is that what they're called? An emote? Yeah. Um, Super cute. She has one where like it's like her stirring the champagne. I mean the champagne, the wine glass, and then she has Mama Cat, and then um, you have the one that is um, panic. oh the panic, and you have the no. That one was cute. We're gonna say hey to two more divas that are here. Um, be very careful. These two are like vipers. They will steal your man in a heartbeat. Okay. And by steal, I mean like run him over with a car. Okay, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself, all right? Hello, everybody. My name is Carmina. So watch out, because I'm coming for your man. <laughs> <laughs> she took over my territory in the Gulf Coast, by the way. I'm Christine. I got a new man, so I won't be taking your man. <laughs> and you don't even have to blow this one up or anything. So. <laughs> All right, we're gonna figure out food. We'll see if they decide to ever come and take the dirty plate that was sitting here. Um, but I'm sure by the warm welcome that was gone that we won't. But it's okay, as long as the food slaps, I ain't worried about it. Um, I just want a stiff drink. No comment. And <laughs> People mix us up. I think it's the hair. They think we look alike. the lips, it's the lips, I'm telling you. All right, let's figure out what the food's gonna be because there's not a menu here. We'll see when she decides to come over here. Um, but again, hope I don't get demonetized for this music. That's all I gotta say. Okay, guys. So I ended up not filming when we got in um, a whole lot because, first off, the music. So I'm not even sure if it's gonna get demonetized, but girl, we waited so long. We waited forever for the uh, waitress to come over. We had two tables and they were busy, but the thing is, it's like they only had two people that was working the bar slash also being the server. And girl, it was a hot mess. It was a hot mess and we understood we gave them plenty of time and waited and waited and waited. And we were like, okay, girl, like finally, like this person walks up and we're like, is anybody ever gonna come over here? Because we've been here for over 30 minutes and we're just chilling. Like nobody's even like, stop by to say anything or anything like that. <sighs> so they were like, yeah, let's take your order. So she like takes three of our, there's five of us sitting at the table. She takes four people's orders for their drink and goes to walk off. And we're like, excuse me, there's another person sitting right here. Comes back four different times because they didn't have Patron. And then the second time they didn't have like something else. And so finally we got it and we're like, okay, we're just going to do this. So comes back, brings it drinks, which took another 15 minutes from the time we ordered it. Finally place a food to order. We said we want to get the nachos as an appetizer. And then I ordered these ground beef enchiladas. Um, Cause I was not filling a salad. I was like, I am not eating a salad today. So I ended up eating enchiladas. I got it. The sauce that was on it was extremely spicy. <coughs> I don't do spicy. Let me just tell you that. So the other thing is, is the nachos did not even come out. And so she's like setting our food down and it took forever anyway, which we were like, they're busy. So like cooking the food is probably gonna take a while. 
So we finally get it. And I'm like, where are the nachos, girl? And she goes, oh, they're coming. I'm like, well, it was an appetizer to begin with. So, like, it's coming, but our, our entrees are sitting down. Like, they're, you, you're putting them on the, the, the table now. And she just kind of looked at me, and I'm like, whatever, girl. So, we eat the food. It wasn't great. I didn't really care for my food. Everybody else liked it. Um, I wasn't, like, I'm not going back there to eat again. That's not going to happen. Um, we paid, we left. We we're like, let's just go back to the hotel. Just go to the hotel bar. The bartender there is super nice. She makes great drinks. And, um, of course, it's hard to mess up Patron water with three limes. I'm just saying. But she's awesome. She did such a great job. And uh, so we sat outside. We just chit-chatted and we talked. And today was awesome. We had such an awesome day. We had a, a, a ton of amazing clients. Um, and, of course, I'm not from here in El Paso. So I got to meet a lot of new uh, people and new faces. And <coughs> get to just hang out. Um, today was just so much fun. We had a blast. And it's always so cool to see so many different people. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to El Paso before, but go see my video from yesterday. It, the view is stunning. There is all of these beautiful mountains. And when you're looking to one side, there is uh, Mexico. So when you look over there, it is stunning view at night because there's so many lights close together. Um, I didn't know, but um, somebody was telling me that the part that we see when we're in El Paso that is of um, um, of Mexico from El Paso is like, I was like, oh, their choice of colors for their houses are so strange to me, like these flamingo pink and um, yellow and things like that. And he said, well, the government of Mexico actually gives them free paint in that area to paint their homes so that from this side of the border, it doesn't look like the poor part of Mexico. And I was like, that is so sad that instead of the government taking that money and fixing the issue, they're just giving you paint to make it seem like it's better than what it is. I don't know. That was just so sad to me. And I'm like, you can tell when you're looking at the houses over there that they're not very, um, like, I couldn't imagine them having central heating and cooling. Like, that's what it looked like. You know what I mean? Like, it looked very run down, except for just a bright color of paint on it. And I don't know. I just sit here and think about, you know, I went 14 days with no air, and I was dying. And these people are, you know, struggling. And their government, instead of just helping, is giving them paint. Like, I don't get it. I don't even know. But, um... Yeah, so we ended up, like, when we walked out, I wanted to go to that uh, bar that was to the left called Mona, but it wasn't open. So I don't even know if it's still open or if it's only, like, a weekend thing or what. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. So El Paso, to me, is so beautiful. And every time I've, well, this is my second time coming here, and I just am just, I guess, in awe of its beauty um, because it's so different than anything I've ever seen. And it's just, I don't know, the people are so nice. And there's a lot of money here, girl. There's a lot of money here. But the people are so humble and they're so chill. And you can tell it's very family-oriented here, which is really cool to see. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so excited to be here. I wouldn't want to live here um, because there's just nothing to do. Last time I came here, I stayed a little bit longer on a Sunday um, because we were flying home on Sunday like we are this time, but I actually got a flight for the afternoon. Um, I think it was like five or six o'clock versus um, what I did this time where I'm flying out at 11 a.m. But I will tell you, there ain't shit to do here on a Sunday. <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything closes. I was like, where is the food? Like there's nothing to eat. All the restaurants were closed. There was nothing even like available to like go do now they had um this really cool festival outside but by festival i mean like they had a mariachi band and um they had a little bit of street food but it wasn't like i don't know i was like mm, 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 mm. and the place that i was walking that like downtown area thing looked very sketchy everything looked like um you know those wholesale places where like it's a million tchotchke things you can't even see, like, the wall because there's so much stuff there. 
every single store was like that. And there were so many people standing outside the store trying to like pedal stuff. I was like, girl, I'm over this. Um, but yeah, I don't even know. I don't know where we're going to go to dinner tomorrow night. I know we're not going back to that place. It's called TAP, T-A-P. Um, again, I understand that you're short staffed, um, doing, I guess the best you think you can, but you were really still struggling, but <laughs> the company was great. I'll tell you, that's what made up for it. The having great company and just being able to hang out with, um, some amazing coworkers and just catching up and, you know, sharing stories and, um, you know, there's so many different positions here. So giving, you know, an opportunity just to talk and, I don't know. It's just awesome. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I work for such an amazing company and, um, I don't know. It's just such a privilege to be able to go to somebody's territory and see how hard they work. Um, because the person is, it's her territory here. Her name is Graciela and she works so hard and her teams work so hard and you can tell that there's just so much passion and love here. And it, it's so rewarding to, to go and see their hard work being paid off and for us to be able to come and help and support them um, and support her to make such amazing goals, but also to show her team that like we are united in our success in Dior. And I don't know, it's just, it's so good. And everybody has such a good time and it's, you know, it's stressful, but it's a good stress. Like you're, it's like, a, it's a, you're pumped up. You're, you're like, yes, let's do it. Like it's that kind of stress. And it's just day one. It's just day one. And this is like when people talk about their jobs and they're just so negative all the time. And I'm like, you need to get a new job or find a career because I like, this is what I thrive on. Like, this is what I love to do. And to be able to go to somebody else's territory and do what I do in my own territory is so much fun. And I know that she appreciates it and they appreciate it. And it's just fun. Girl, it's just makeup. We're not curing cancers. We're just curing the blues, girl. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Any chance I get an opportunity to meet new people and just have fun and share positivity and make them feel good and let make them know they already look great. All we're doing is just enhancing. It's, it's, that's what's rewarding to me. Like, that's what's so good. I'm laying on the bed right now. If y'all haven't noticed, I'm just chilling. Come like, ah. <laughs> I, it feels good in here. I was like, let me just go on here and make a video. And tomorrow we're going to be in an event, depending on where we go. I don't know what kind of video we're going to make tomorrow. I would love to have an opportunity to, um, get some other people on here. Uh, I know some of them wanted to tonight, but again, we were sitting in that place and the music was extremely loud. So I knew I was going to get demonetized. Um, so I was like, let me not do a whole lot of filming in here. And to be honest with you, it may have been to where like, I'm going to be demonetized anyway, uh, because of that song or the music that was playing in there, but it is what it is. But I'm so excited. I am, um, behind obviously at this point, I'm making this at night, the day before that you're watching it. Um, so I'm about to hop off of here, edit my video, put it up, and then start reading the comments and replying from my video, um, that I recently posted the day before. And, um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You know what? Find some way today after this video, or even tomorrow, if it's too late, um, for you to do it today, find a way to make somebody feel amazing. And, Making somebody feel amazing isn't always buying them something extremely expensive. It's sometimes it's as easy as just saying, you know what, you look so gorgeous today, or wow, your uh, lipstick looks absolutely stunning, um, or God, you're having such a great hair day, um, you know, or even, you know, if you want to buy somebody something, get them a coffee or something like that. I personally don't like the whole, like, you buying the coffee for the person behind you and trying to start the chain. Um, it's annoying because, honestly, not everybody, I don't expect somebody to pay $25 to $30 for my order um, just because they're trying to do a good deed. Um, I would say, you know what, let me take care of their coffee. If it's just one drink, then so be it. Um, but if it's a big order, hey, you know what, I'm going to take care of one of their drinks. So if you can actually take you know, 10 bucks off their order for me. 
um, or something like that. I mean, something easy. I mean, it's just, and, and don't make it too, don't overthink it. Just something fun. Like, girl, if somebody's standing behind you and be like, what are you ordering? Oh, I'm going to get a cookie. Okay. Well, I'm going to buy it for you today. No, you ain't got to do that. Why? Well, I just want to do it. You know, I mean, to be honest with you, the way you make people feel, they're never going to forget. They'll forget what you said, but they're never going to forget how you made them feel. So take the time, whether it's somebody you know and you haven't talked to in a long time or somebody you speak to every single day or somebody you don't even know. Just make somebody feel good. I know I like it when people make me feel good, but to be honest with you, for me, what makes me happy and thrive and feel good is actually seeing other people happy uh, because we're just having fun and, and just keeping things lighthearted and not overthinking it. Because again, it ain't that deep, girl. It ain't that deep. But all right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off of here so that I can shower and uh, do this video and go and respond to all of your fabulous messages. And then, of course, call my fabulous man, Chris, and see what he's up to and check on him. But I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing day. And I hope that you're going to get off this video um, and go and change somebody's day. Make somebody have... Um, an amazing tomorrow because you changed their mindset today. So I love you guys so much. Hope you have an amazing evening. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, meaning give this video a thumbs up, share it to somebody that you know, and then if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. So um, I love you so much. I will see you all tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Mwah.